Hello everybody, and thank you for tuning in to On Reefer. I am Ryan, your host tonight, and we are going to be talking about one of my favorite fish, the Court Jester, also known as the Rainford's Goby. This is actually my personal fish in the video here. This is Wonka. Everybody say hi to Wonka. Alright, so Rainford's Gobies are a great fish to have. They have a lot of personality. They are a little timid, but once they get to know you, they will start to kind of creep out and say hi, and then pretty soon they'll be just like Wonk out here rolling the tank. A lot of things that are interesting about this fish, the first of which is a lot of people have difficulty keeping this fish because of its eating habits. In my personal experience, this fish's eating habits can be a little tricky, but the key to keeping this fish is keeping good pods in your system whether that be arctic pods trigger pods anything from reef nutrition or algae barns should be sufficient for these guys but you've got to have a good supply of pods they will also eat hair algae as well um i have seen him eat quite a bit of hair algae when i was running low on pods but i would keep pods in there because we do want to keep our fishes balance our fishes diets balanced as much as we can so make sure you got some pods in those tanks um, some other interesting facts I read about these guys feeding too is you will notice that they eat and they go through the sand. They don't eat the sand, but they will sift through the sand looking for food. A lot of people say that they're looking for old processed food, uh, like flakes or any kind of bits of pellet that might be left down there. That may be true. I do see my guy going through the sand. I feed this tank very lightly with some flake, like one or two small flakes every day for the sexy shrimp I have in here. He may be eating that but like I said big takeaway from this is really just focus on having those pods don't rely on the it feeding from old food in your sand work on those pods get the pod game up some other fun facts about this fish is this fish is relatively small um, if we kind of go over to live live aquaria real quick we'll take a look at kind of what they have to say about this fi fish in the quick stats they do give it a care level of moderate, which is pretty interesting because it makes sense because it is kind of hard to, uh, to get to eat. But this is a pretty hardy fish. As long as you fall, like you make sure you get those pods, like I said before, get those pods up. I think you're going to be okay. I would label this an easy in an established aquarium. Maybe a little trickier for those beginner aquarists, but... You know, give your tank, say, six months or so to kind of build up a, a nice colony of pods and stuff. And you can kind of move this care level down to a, uh, an easy. Uh, the temperature, uh, the temperament of this fish is labeled as peaceful on here. Definitely so. Um, the color form, so all, all the court jester gobies are going to look very similar. Um, one thing that is really cool is you will notice them kind of get darker when they are trying to hide and kind of brighten up when they are out and about and feeling happy and stuff. The diet, like we said before, omnivore. Uh, they are completely reef com compatible, as you can see with my tank here. I've got all kinds of coral. It doesn't bother anything. Water conditions, your typical water conditions, you know, 72 to, it says 78 on Live Aquaria. I run my tanks at 80. He does fine. Max size, 3 inches, so very small fish. They do come from Indonesia, so super cool, going to have a lot of color. Uh, they are a, a, an actual goby, not like a, a dragon net. They are a real goby. Uh, minimum tank size, so this is something to kind of stop on here. The minimum tank size of this fish is 10 gallons. Now, with that being said, if you have a 10 gallon or less tank, definitely make sure that this is the only fish that you put in that tank. Um, I mean, I, sure, there are some one in a million success stories of this fish being in uh, in with other tank mates and stuff like that. But really, keep this fish in its own tank if it's going to be 10 gallons or under. If you have a bigger tank, you know, just be wary of who's around it and stuff like that. Make sure no one's going to pick on them. Yeah, but other than that, a great little fish. You can find them anywhere between 20 and $35. So... That's going to be it for the video today. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to leave something in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, hop on over on onreefer.com and check out some other cool videos. Thanks. Goodbye.